Scott here again with the 12 Laws of Social Media Prospecting Part 2. I want to talk to you guys about law number four, how to pay it forward once a day. There's several ways to do this, but to get to uh, kind of a, the point is we just talk about reciprocally reciprocating to others. In this case, online posting recommendations and retweets. How about doing something like that for a network member? Just for the heck of it. If someone in your network posts an exciting announcement or benefit available from their business or con company, why not help spread the word? On LinkedIn, look through your network. We know for whom you can write a qualified, honest, sincere recommendation. Yet haven't, haven't yet done it. Write one per day if you can. Send a warm, kind message to someone with whom you may not have connected in a while with. Not so you can uh, prospect them, just do it because you want to make that person feel good. You never know, you might just uh, make that person's day, perhaps that lived will come on a day that will really be needed. Beyond writing sincere kind words about others, you can pay it forward online. Retweeting, post on Twitter, share online information from others to your Facebook wall or information sharing web applications. Introduce people in your own network to each other. Perhaps they um, share a common interest either professionally or personal. Scanning discussion boards on LinkedIn, Facebook, and others. Posting real answers and solutions that improves lives but not are necessarily tied to your business. So just pay it forward and that's number four. Number five, um, give credit where credit is due. Let me tell you something. Nothing is new since the earth cold. Wow, that's a cool saying. It's also true. Wish I had thought of it first. But in reality, I didn't. I first heard it from a friend and a mentor and uh, some guy that was in the insurance business that read it in a book. Now I have an introduction to go find the book and read it. At the end of the four different parts series here, I will share the book, the author, and where you can find the book. So when I when you speak to an audience and uh, come up with the point of giving credit where credit is due, how do you do that? It gives the piece of information more credibility. Perhaps you are not the person to pass on the information that gives financial advice, but your source is. So by having a website, talking about the different kinds of grasses, but you don't know all the different kinds of grasses in the Southeast or up in the North or out West. Well, how do you convey that information to your client, to your friends and family that know you that just got in the lawn business? Well, you have your website, you refer them to the website and, um, You've taken that information maybe from a uh, university's website or the local uh, Department of Agriculture in your state, their website. So it, there's always a source that will give you credibility by giving them the original credit back to the source. You spread that credibility and it builds in you. Seeing this in your friends, will likely give it more uh, credibility and 
will also appreciate you for being a channel of helpful information. You serve your network. You also reciprocate. A friend passes you information, you pass it on to others, citing them as a source. This is reciprocation at its best. You build relationships on both fronts. Third example, you show humility, being humble. Many of us in the process of building our own personal brands, online reputations are key to the success. However, none of us know everything. Don't pretend that you do. Number four, it's just plain right. Give credit where credit is due is simply the most ethical and honest way to work, whether it is online, in the workplace, at home, or wherever you're conducting your business. And number six, uh, law number six, speak kindly with sincerity or don't speak. We all heard the expression, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. It's a timeless rule, yet one that is often ignored. The fact is, when you say something negative about another, you only make yourself look bad, plus spread bad karma. Remember that what goes around comes back around. You hurt yourself professionally and you hurt yourself spiritually. This is the case whether you believe in that or not. Here is a simple example. In the book, the gentleman published a new article on a blog. I will post it in the news board, many groups on LinkedIn. That way it gets plenty of exposure, being a new readers help more people. You can make comments to the various articles and most of the time the comments will be positive, other affirming what I shared, giving it additional experience, example of my point. But now and again, there will be a critic. Uh, the problem is that the world has enough critics. So what is a critic? For example, a critic is someone who gives a negative remark without anything better or positive to offer up. Being a critic is bad. Offering constructive criticism is good and altogether completely different. The late Steve Covey spoke of this when he would stress the principle of loyalty to the abstain. If you are to say something critical, say it constructively with respect in a manner as though the person were present when it is online. The person is always present, as are many others. Let's say you read one article that emphasizes the value of calling people back uh, presently until you get something in gist, a re yeah, that's definitely some. Um, but the idea is, uh, I get a, with law number six, speak kindly with sincerity or don't speak at all. I would take that and go retweet things, make a comment if you can, in certain areas like on YouTube watch a YouTube video and comment positively um, give the big thumbs up if you like the videos if you don't don't give them the big thumbs down just don't um, if you have any ideas to improve their uh, social media 
marketing or presence or add to something in a constructive way, let them know, hey, you know, go watch uh, Bob's channel. Go do this over here. Um, let us know how we can improve our channel. Um, always speak kindly with sincerity. Um, so if you like the video, give us the big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, uh, Twitter, um, Google+. Plus. Um, visit our website, our lawn marketing website. And uh, definitely leave a comment. And if you have any ideas for new videos, also let us know. Thanks again. In closing, give us the big thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, share it with a friend, family, family member, follow us on Twitter, join us on Google+, follow us on Instagram, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, also make the suggestion down below. Thanks again.